little bit of TV time in the morning while I'm feeding her sister, and then I can still have cuddles in the bed. Oh. I've got no bottoms on, I've got no underwear or anything on the bottom, I'm so hot. Oh honey, so I'm just absolutely obsessed with it, then you just slot it back and you can lean right. I love her so much. Right, remember Hans, it has to get worse before it gets better. Well done, yay! Okay, done. Pardon? That goes back, doesn't it? It goes back. Oh yeah. I want to change lots, I've got to get all the sleep bags put away. I've got so much to do, I want to change things in here because... Because if you haven't got loads of space, P.S. I love the fact that it could front here these are short at the back and then zips and then long and then again hello beautiful cherub angels i don't know why i just called you that but i love it hello and welcome to another vlog i'm very excited this is another nesting vlog today we get the pram i want to show you one of the prams that we've got i'm very excited we get it out it's all fun and games i think and then we're going to show you all the bits in the new baby's nursery getting everything prepped for that washing the baby's clothes all the bits that you know you get to do in nesting and i'm buzzing and i'm loving life so let me know if you like videos like this i really like taking you along with this journey it's just amazing i get to share it with you so yeah i'd be really grateful if you subscribe i'd be so grateful for my channel and yeah because those people are saying that my videos aren't turning up in the description box which is really sad and people are being unsubscribed so please subscribe i'd be so grateful and enjoy this nesting video and to any mums out there, hopefully this helps you show some new bits. And to anyone else out there who's not a mum, I hope you enjoy it. Because I'm quite fun. Here he is then, loving life. Putting more out, he's amazing. Getting all the baby grows cleaned, loving it. Little bits hanging over there. Good thing about having a baby during the summer. Yeah. So you can do the washing of clothes. So true. So true. Turn them out. I got these again because I had them with Renalia. They're my favourite swaddles ever. They're the love to dream, but I actually got them for um, really light weather. So obviously really hot weather, I mean. So it means that they're really light because I think I'll just put her in this in like a vest because they're just so good with the startle reflex. Renalia really struggled with her startle reflex and these are just amazing. I got some gorgeous muslins from A Little Bit of Hope. Then I got this wonderful little, oh yeah, this is from a little tailor, the little tailor. This was a little bit more expensive, but I really wanted a lovely, 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 like soft, beautiful organic cotton. And then I got this one, which is a bit thicker. This is when she gets a bit older. Um, and another muslin there as well. Look how tiny everything is. Oh, don't. So sweet. We love you so much. We love you, big sweetheart, big sweet little girl. So there is my little lamb chop putting together the gazelle S. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it now. Off key, everything's everywhere, but I don't care because we are putting together our double bram. This is like one of those really exciting times. So I'm so buzzing, I can't wait. I just want to push it around. We're going to put it next. Oh, you coming for a cuddle, but you're naked so you can't. It's hot, she just wants to run around outside. With no clothes on. You want me to put it on? Oh, your hair's so curly. Okay. Right, so she's currently feeding. So I think we're going to put both of the seat packs on first. It's the bassinet. We will try it when she comes, but whether she goes in the bassinet or not, I'm not too sure. But we got it in all black. I'm very excited. I really wanted to get it in the white, the cream, the ivory. It looks so nice, but I know it's going to get covered. The black gets covered anyway because it's prams, it's babies, but... I just feel like black was safer and Spencer told me black, so we're doing black because he gets a say in that because he does clean the majority of the stuff. So oh, if, it's a wise decision, I think. if he wants black, he has black. Nelly's already helping by putting some bits in here. She's pulling out all the washing and she's putting it in here. But look how nice this is. You can tell this is definitely new because, not new, but you know what I mean? It's been upgraded from the old gazelle because even with the pream that we used to have, just little things are different. Are you going to put the nappy cream in there? Good girl. She's putting the nappy bag in the bottom. She's doing it all. Oh my God, it's so slick. That is nice. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I was just putting together the basket here now. So you can put that instead of, if, if you only want like a single pram. But that's a nice deep basket. But look at the underneath. It's massive. It's actually massive. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You put in the, okay. Lovely. Excuse all the mess, but that's the car seat that we've got. This is the Gazelle carry cot. Yeah, that's the carry cot. These are bits to go on the sofa. That's the cloud seat, eye size. Yep, yeah, that's the that's the car seat. I, think I need to get two of these because I've got one. I think I need to order another one because obviously if there's two people sitting there, they're gonna need two. I'm wondering if you can have two. I'm wondering if you can have two. Does anyone know? Okay, not gonna lie to you, we're slightly struggling. We cannot fold it. <laughs> 
we're watching all of the things and it's just it's not working for us it's just not going in half so we've got it like this lovely we're following all the tutorials and it's just not folding so what was it then excellent light by the way i'm just saying i'm just saying right what was it then i'll show you so let me just pull it back out i don't know how we get it back up right, ready yeah so we go left it out. button here down this one comes here and it folds and then this one comes a little bit further back and then you tuck that one up and then you can take this out and put it in the middle yeah oh no you don't tuck that up you tuck that down for a little bit more like that yeah and amazing. Then there's a little bar it's not the lightest but for two seats i think that's bloody brilliant yeah so then to get it back up we just do the exact same <laughs> no we don't don't want you bending over too much so don't worry about it can't be bothered <laughs> You've done a great job. So it actually has a safety hook, which I couldn't, we didn't know. So we get that off and then it hooks up, does it? Excuse the mess, by the way. This is what happens when you're building things. We've been washing baby's clothes. So child, chuck it down. Yeah. Really push it there, yeah. Well done, yay! That go down now. Pardon? That goes back, doesn't it? It goes back. Oh yeah, like that. There you go. Well done, baby love. Yay! So that pram can actually have 32 configurations, like bassinet, it can have the car seat, two car seats, it can have two bassinets, two of the ones facing each other, facing away, they both recline. Also, you can have like a single pram with this. I've just got to work out how to put it on, but it's a big storage basket which is really, really cute. Plus, I thought it was really good. I don't know whether this is normal, but, because I I don't remember having this in my last pram, but it came with the rain covers for both gazelles, for both uh, seat packs, which I think is unreal, because you always need a rain cover in England, let's be honest. I'm not gonna put the bassinet on yet, we've just put it around the side, because I feel like we don't need to at this moment in time. But obviously, the baby can't go into the seat pack for six months. So we will have the seat pack at the front with Renalia and then the bassinet at the back. <gasps> right, so today is the start of trying to get the baby's room sorted. So that's exciting because it means that we can actually finally get this room, even though this babe, the baby's not gonna be in here for six months. It just means that Renalia's got another space that she can play in because lots of her toys are gonna be in here too. But also I will just feel more put together once I've got the nursing chair in here, all the baby's clothes are away, like that's important to me so that I've got some sort of organization there. Don't judge what it looks like before because it <laughs> is a mess. It's a mess. But we're gonna get there today. I'm actually really excited. Of course, Renalia is playing in this room. But she suddenly unlocked this way of independent play and I am not mad at it. I'm like, go girl. This is currently what it's looking like. Here we go. I want to change lots. I've got to get all the sleep bags put away. I've got so much to do. I want to change things in here because even though it's a lovely room, we've got this. I've put this up because I love this. A little bird once told me and there's a little mummy feeding her babies and there's the light there. I've got to put different books there. I've got different things to go there. I've got different hanging bits. I've got this. Oh my God, I love this mat. Where did I get this from? Oh, it's a small brand. I've got to find the name of them now. I'll go find the name, but this is like a wipe mat. I had this one underneath that I used with Renalia, but this one's wipeable, so it's so much easier. I think this is from Oliella, I think. Um, and then I've got some bits here. I've got to put obviously wipes and stuff in here, but I want to fill all these drawers because I'm really umming and ahhing. Like, do I put muslins and bibs here or do I have all the clothes here? And then look at all of this. But she's playing and she's happy. So, oh, and it's 10.10. Be grateful. I've got to change all of these toys because obviously I need the baby's toys here. I've got lots of different teethers and stuff that I've got from like, here she comes for the camera. Here, look, the munchkin ones for your sister. And I've got like some wobbly tower from Bibs. I've got some linky toys. So I need to get the baby some bits. But I was wondering, look at all this as well. <gasps> That's all bibs, muslins, new stuff. That's all Renalia's nursery clothes, like clothes that she can get messy more towels down there i can't even cope and then look renalia's swimming stuff look look at all this stuff look at all this stuff um but i have started organizing things as much as it might not look like i've got all my little um swaddles here so i just need to make some arrangements but i was gonna put all the muslins and stuff in the bottom there 
I don't know whether I'd want to be bending down to get the muslins. But look, I need a massive sort out. Then we've got the babies. Mattress we need to open. I got this one from Oliver Furniture. <laughs> Good girl. Then I've got some frames. I need to put some bits in for the baby when the baby arrives with the name and stuff. I want to change this, but, you know, she's got lovely furniture. She's going to pull it all out. Watch this now. She's going to pull it all out, but... Just bear with me because this is the amount of clothes we have to put away. So this is why I'm thinking like, I just don't think I want to have a whole drawer of muslins here. But then would I need muslins over, yeah, muslins are the most things you use, aren't they? So maybe I should just do muslins and bibs. I might ask Instagram because I love an Instagram. I love a little chat. And then I need to change some bits up here. I need to put this in Renalia's room. That's Uncle Scott with Renalia. But I feel like this is lovely. That's Renalia's journal, her pregnancy journal, my pregnancy journal for her. So I'll swap that for her sisters. Um, so yes, going to get to grips. So this is one box. This is newborn stuff, I think. No, this is not three months. There is like all the big coats and blankets. I've got so many muslins downstairs. These are newborn bits. Yeah, that's all the newborn bits. Stuff that we kept from Renalia from before and new bits. And then this is three to six months, I think. Some bits I got from, yeah, this is three to six months. So we're doing it, Hans. A little bump update. I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant. <gasps> Look at her. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. I love her so much. Right, remember, Hans, it has to get worse before it gets better. So this is where we're at. We're pulling everything out of here now so we can start going through and dividing it. We have extra dividers that we got from Ikea. These are good ones as well. We had them extra, so thank God we had them extra. I folded all the muslins, which are going to go in the bag. I've decided I just think they can sit next to the nursing chair down in this little corner, and then they're just easy to grab there. So I've got my trusty helper, Spency, now, so he can help. When Renelia goes to sleep, we're going to do most of it, but we're just going to go through it now because while she's awake, we've at least got some time. So we're just sorting through things in there, making space. Got to get rid of all these ones up here, but they're for Renelia anyway. But I think Renelia and her sister are going to share this anyway because there is a lot of stuff that they can put in isn't there we could put an extra shelf in there we don't need the extra shelf do we so here we go then nice big wardrobe to be fair yeah that can go where can we put that just get shelf. that out oh, yeah, yeah, good shelf. these books can go as well at the moment because they're not playing in here she's playing gardening so i'm loving life zips that are newborns and now i'm doing these ones i'm nearly done with newborn stuff i've done all the vests they're like thin strap vests and double ones and then they're going to go in here I've added some bibs into here I'm going to layer some more on top there put some creams up there cotton wool, nappies and I'll put some more bibs so yeah, I might put creams and stuff and wipes in this one anyway so I don't think I'll put wipes in there and creams in there he's been hanging some stuff up oh it's so cute love it so cute look at all that we're doing it in order as well have we not got the newborn ones over there no we haven't have we oh got it it's looking good already baby we're whispering because she's asleep so i'm going to show you where we're at after day one this is day one there's going to be more things to do but i think we've done so well Why didn't you have your outfit? i've got no bottoms on i've got no underwear or anything on the bottom i'm so hot i did the toilet and just took it off but let me tell you this really quickly i just went out for an hour and took renalia out so that spencer could do some more bits so i will show you what we've done bibs i'm still yet to fold but i found a place for all the bibs look i've got such pretty bibs by the way i got them from h&m look how pretty they are they look like little collars there's loads of ones in here where are they let me try and find them these are small muslins which i'm going to put somewhere that's a blanket but that's fine and um, where are they not that one i've got such pretty bibs where have they all gone oh well, anyway oh yeah look this is one look how pretty and then look at this one this is so cute as well stop right so obviously all this in here then i'm going to put some more bibs here and then we have got i'm going to put more muslins along here because why not so then this is uh newborn vests um newborn zip newborn um baby grows zero to three months now i know the white clash is there but i didn't want to have them in there because these are zero to three months so zero to three months because we had an overflow and then zero to three months more baby grows and all of the vests we've actually got loads of room we actually don't have as much no way near as many clothes we have in earlier because i guess we just don't need them right now i think she's going to be in loads of just uh vesty bits because it's going to be so hot so uh to do 
three to six months down here. We've got like, hardly anything. We've got no vest for three to six months. Yeah, we've got the stuff on the side hanging up that is the big puffer ones, you know what I mean? And then we've got lots of hanging bits. So, Spencer, we need to hang that properly. We need to put that on here. Um, but this is all the hanging bits. So this is newborn and not three months. This is stuff I've got to hang. I've got all of her swaddles in here that I love so much, I need to get some more. I've got all of her tights in here, which she won't be wearing for a while. And then we started putting some bath stuff. We need to put it in here, I think. More hanging bits over here. I need to buy some more hangers. And then down here, we've got all of the blankets. And then in here, we've got all of the, uh, what are they? What are they? Sleep bags, sleep bags. I just need to sort through like hats, comforters, bits like that. And then towels we need to do as well. And then we need to get her furniture done here, but we're doing really well. Obviously I need to dress all of her stuff here, put the nursing chair in there. Look at all the muslins over there, they are there. And then I'm gonna put over here her bouncer, her little bouncer. So exciting. It is another day to thrive and succeed. So Hans, Right now, I'm currently going through my beautiful best friend Amber's bags that she bought me of clothes um, and all of the stuff from the baby shower. This is, all, this is all clothes as well. So what I need to do is rearrange her drawers upstairs because I didn't anticipate getting any of this stuff. So I've organized it a tiny bit to a, to a T and then I'm gonna go upstairs and do some bits. But firstly, wanted to print off some labels. I've got my Dymo Jet Letra tag. Yeah, love it. I'm just gonna, Spencer wants it all labelled. So I've written out labels that I need because he wants Renalia's drawers labelled as well. So I need vests. I need vests quite a few times. So do you think I need to like short sleeve vest and long sleeve vest or? Renalia has been playing around with this. So I'm slightly concerned it's gonna come out. No, I think it's fine. Let's see. Vests. I think it needs to be a smaller settings. Preview, language, set date, set contrast. Honeys, I can't work out how to format. Medium. Let's see what medium comes out like. Because I think medium might be better. Let's just have a look. Now I'm having an R ring. I actually think large is better. I actually think large is better. So size, let's go up to large. So I'm gonna do like short sleeve sleep suits, long sleeve sleep suits, short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, trousers, shorts, rompers, socks for Renadia. Nappies, wipes, muslins times two, bibs times two, vests again, S zip sleep suits, newborn sleep suits, zero to three month sleep suits, vests again, three to six month sleep suits. I'm gonna go through it because I've got to do like cords as well. Oh, cords is another thing for me. Cords is another thing. So I'll write that here. Because if it's labeled, then Spencer has absolutely zero way that he can say anything other than, well, it was labeled. Do you know what I mean, Hans? I love this thing. I've just got my little tea over here. This is my. Mm. This is red raspberry tea with um, lemon and raspberry um, Robinson squash. Oh, it tastes like a fruit tea. Also tastes like a black tea. It literally tastes like a black tea, but no caffeine. And red raspberry tea is good, so we will take it, Hans. Take this little beauty upstairs, so I feel like I need to be right by it, looking at how it looks on the thing. Also, I'm just gonna quickly show you. So, I've gone through the bags here, I've gone through this. This one's, this, this stuff is to go upstairs. This stuff's to go upstairs. This stuff is nine to 12 months, it needs to be put in the vacuum bag in the loft. And this is six to nine months, it needs to be put in the vacuum pack in the loft. So, I'll leave this one's here, because we need to go in the loft anyway. Okay, Angel, so this is where we're currently at. I feel like I'm making progress. I actually have way more baby grows and stuff than I thought I did now because I've got more bits, which I'm very grateful for. So I had to move everything down. So I'll start showing you. So honey, this is where we're at. My daughter has absolutely rinsed the paper in here. So I need to order some more. So it's not actually printing anything right now. So I've got a couple more labels to do, but I'll show you where I'm at. I've actually really gratefully got more sleep suits than I thought. So I've moved stuff down. I was fitting like six to three, uh, three to six month stuff in here, but now it's only... I'll show you. I'll show you. Right, so we've got nappies, wipes, and creams, but the creams will go up here. Um, and some bibs and some um, lovely little cotton wool there. Then we've got vests, muslins. I've made this so clear. So he can never, zips, long newborn sleep suits, short newborn sleep suits. Obviously the zips are on this side and the normals are there. Then we go to vests for the 0 to 3 month sleep suits. Um, muslins are there. These are 0 to 3 months, these are 0 to 3 months. And then again, 
these are not three month sleep suits so I've got a lot of sleep suits um but I think that's fine because I just want her to be in sleep suits anyway and it's going to be a bit warmer it's going to be a bit colder coming into September October time and then these are three to six months stuff that I need to fill I'm probably going to change these out for another one um because these are three to six months so this is going to be like baby grows and stuff but I'll start moving things out and transitioning it out as things obviously she wears them and grows out of them which we don't want to talk about right now currently out with hanging stuff I've just got some new hangers I need to get some more um I'm gonna have to move stuff all along because I've got way more to hang now than I thought I did oh what age is that because I might actually fold that one up I might fold some bits up like baby grows I don't think baby grows need to be hung they don't need to be hung I can fold baby grows if I've got the space and then we're currently looking like this. This is a sleep bag that needs to be folded up down there. I have actually gone through, well, not this hat, but the hats I folded up and put into these ones. I just need to fold this one up. This one is muslin. Nope, this one is bibs that are all folded nicely and then short muslins that are there. But obviously I just need to sort those two hats out there. Got tights in there. Those are all the tights. Um, and then underneath this one is all the swaddles. So we're making our way through things. These are extra bits that I need to hang, but now I'm going to go through and see if I need to hang them or what ages they are, because I'm, I'm actually going to try and sort through stuff. I've got to fold comforters. There's another pair of tights there. So yeah, comforters and tights need to be folded down there. And then towels are all put in there. Baby bits and bath stuff is there. This needs to go away up in the loft. So we'll get that one to put in the loft. And yeah, we're going to start making our way through things. Right, so just this is where we're at. I've started hanging up some more stuff. This is all newborn and zero to three months. Obviously, I'll start changing it around. She's got her bibs, um, swaddles. I want to get some more of those hats in order. I just need to put these hats away, but I'm not doing any more today. I'm absolutely knackered. I could do those two hats. Um, tights, short muslins. This is spare. Towels, stuff for the showers and bath for both of the girls, but I might put them in here. Um, this is, now we need to sort through this because this is just miscellaneous, that's presents for people. This is three to six months trousers which are overflowed. Um, down there in there, that's three to six months stuff that needs to be hung. Um, a present birthday sleep sack. Down here we've got loads of space, loads of space in there. Then in here it's all comforters and slings. So all slings, slings, um, the white noise. And then in here it's all... No, that needs to have changed. That's all blankets. And this is all sleep suits, which I can't open. Um, sleep bags I need to sort out where we're at. So I've been putting everything away. Short, I've made it so obvious. Short, newborn sleep suits, long zips. And I've made the zips so they're evident out. But these are the zip long ones. Vests here and then not three months sleep suits and vests i'm gonna add some more muslins in the front here these are short at the back and then zips and then long and then again zero to three months because this is what we've got and then this starts to be three to six months but that's going to change over soon but this is not three months there you go yes i'm eating chocolate cornflake eggs for breakfast and what mm. they're not the best ones though because they're dairy free i'm tested but we'll make it work right i want to show you What's been going on in the baby's nursery? I've got my nursing chair. I'm obsessed with it. I originally got beige, but I actually swapped it for the grey because I really love the grey, just because we've got grey carpet. And I feel like then I've got this like movie kind of... I love it. I've obviously got to move stuff around it, but I've got all the muslins next to me over there in the basket. What I really like about... Oh, this is from Oh Baby, by the way. On the side, which I was thinking about putting like breast pads in and stuff like that, or just books as the children get older, even though it's right next to the bookshelf there muslins just anything snacks for me if i'm feeding i love it it's so nice look at it oh honey so i'm just absolutely obsessed with it then you just slot it back and you can lean right back and recline and then you can do the rocking one it is so nice and it's so dainty it's the daintiest of nursing chairs because we haven't got exactly a massive room in here and you can put the footstool around the side here um and it's just gonna be nice to grow with the girls and write, read stories to them i've already been sat on here with renalia sometimes she likes sitting on here it's so comfy. Like, I would say way comfier than the chair I had before. This is so nice. And the recline goes all the way back, by the way. Obviously, I need to pull it out more from the thingy and, like, the rocking on it. Like, look at me. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. It actually got voted, I think. That's why I found it on Made for Mums. It got voted one of the best chairs, one of the best nursing chairs. Absolutely buzzing. Let me show you some more bits in the room. I got this one from Ergo Baby. I had Baby Beyond before, but this one had so many amazing reviews and it has like a newborn insert. It can be a toddler chair. It lays completely flat. Let me try and show you. So 
look, lays completely flat. How amazing is that for storage? Sorry, but that's ideal. Like, that is ideal. You can literally just stand it up like that. Because if you haven't got loads of space, P.S. I love the fact that it can go all the way up. You can do different, look, you can go higher. You can go lower just with one foot pedal. And then that just slots on like that. And then you've got the newborn insert. It's so good. It's the three in one Evolve. Like it's so pretty as well. I'm living out my cream fantasy because I never have anything cream because Spencer's always like it gets ruined. But I feel like there's a hint of gray in there, so that's fine. But she's going to love it. She's going to love it. It's all like mesh at the sides. I'll read up about it actually because I'm not very good at telling everyone what's actually good. I just feel like she looks so cute, doesn't she? I need to get the labels off, but I love it. I love it because this was a savior for me when I was doing my makeup or when I wanted to be in the shower and I still wanted her with me or just anything like that. Honestly, this is going to be the dream. It looks so comfy as well. I'd love one like that. The here, Spencer's raised the cart. We've put the sheet on. Um, the sheet matches that one and the sheet also matches that one. Um, this, be honest with me, we kept it from mums and papas. I'm going to get that out closer to the time she's got her lion bear with her heartbeat in that her sister actually loves Renalia loves this bear where's the heartbeat where is it hello there Renalia finds so much comfort in it. it's so sweet I need to change like all these bits I want to change the photos and stuff I tried to swap that for like an oak one this is Renalia's ones that I got from before but I'm going to change them but I tried to swap that for like an oak um picture frame it just didn't look nice I'm gonna keep the white one there I feel like we're getting there slowly but surely I need to pack like another nappy caddy that's gonna be downstairs I've got the one upstairs already we actually got a tv for this room which I'm really buzzing about because I feel as though we just got it from Facebook marketplace it was like 79 pounds 75 pounds or something my dad found it because he's bloody brilliant on Facebook marketplace um Spencer had a bit of an awkward encounter when he went there because the lady thought it was me picking it up so then she didn't want to let him in because she was on her own so she waited for another man to come her friend and yeah, Spencer was like, I literally felt so awkward because he was there and I was like, oh, is it your TV? He was like, no, mate, I'm just here to make it look good or something, make the sofa look good. Spencer was like, I don't know who to speak to here, but we've got a little TV. It's just a smart TV. It's not going to be connected to like the Virgin or anything, but it just means that in the mornings we can all just relax together and it means that I don't have to then go downstairs because Renalia can have like a little bit of TV time in the morning while I'm feeding her sister and I can still have cuddles in the bed or obviously if I'm knackered and haven't slept everyone can go downstairs but we just got a little TV here but when my dad gets back from hungry he's going to put it on the wall so that will go on the wall I know people are going to have a go and think that it's above the baby when I'm changing the baby but I might pull this out I might pull this out and hopefully if it's on a wall bracket a very sturdy wall bracket and my dad was very good with all the building stuff it should be fine it will be fine don't give me any more anxiety than i need because i'm anxious enough <laughs> got this as well i got this from sleepy troll but i actually got this from annika bpr um she has loads of baby brands there and she knows exactly what's what and she told me about this and i did have the rocket before but apparently this is meant to be amazing so it has like a here your unique sleep watch sensor technology detects if your baby becomes restless or cries and automatically starts rocking to soothe your baby listen Look at this. If I can, if the baby girl likes the pram, because her sister didn't, and this is going to be helpful, I'll be able to go to brunch. It's a very long way off, but it's going to be, it, we're manifesting it, Hans. We're manifesting it. So Angels, this is my outfit as well for today. Not that anyone cares, but I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I'm loving life. I'm in my dungarees from Jojo Mama Bebby. Trainers, Converse. This white top is from Skims. No, it's not. It's from H&M, hun. It was like 12 pounds. It's a skims dupe. It's so stretchy and amazing. So there we go. She is growing. She's amazing. I'm obsessed with my girls. I feel very, very blessed. And thank you so much for watching. I love you, angels. Um, I don't really know what else to say because I feel like the video said itself, but I've got another video on Saturday, which I'm really excited to show you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, yeah, Spencer's birthday's coming up. So it's so exciting. I love you guys. Turn it time. I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. Bye.